Katherine Thacker isn't just your ordinary college student. She is the captain of the Liberty University synchronized skating team and competes on the Liberty University figure skating team while also having a full class schedule. For the last three years, Katherine has also helped create an event called Words of Worth to honor her late father, Officer Brandon Thacker. Officer Thacker was shot and killed in the line of duty on April 16, 1998. Now, Katherine uses her story to help impact and love on other families around the United States who have a story similar to hers. It's an honor to be able to host an event where um, we have the chance to you know, reach out to the families and the agencies of fallen officers, but also educate students on how important it is to respect our law enforcement and, and to love them well, um, just I think as, as Jesus would. It's just really cool to see how the university is able to come around and really support such a great event with a great cause. And you know, it's something that we really enjoy being a part of um, and helping her with. Uh, it's just a really good ministry opportunity for our team to serve. As her mom, of course, I'm, I'm just extremely proud of her and um, just uh, love that she has a heart for uh, law enforcement survivors and um, just has dreamed up this event and has organized it so well. So it just makes me feel really proud. Catherine loves that she is able to work alongside her mom for this amazing cause. Because of Catherine, her mom, their story, and their vision, Hundreds of Liberty students gather together to write over hundreds of letters to families who have lost a loved one in the line of duty. You know, when you go through an experience that's so traumatic and so tragic and you feel like your world has stopped and nobody really, um, as they go back onto their lives, you know, you kind of feel like nobody cares or remembers. Um, and so this is saying to these families that there's a community of people who may not know you personally, may not know your officer personally, but that that they actually care about the tragedy that you've experienced. It's definitely an honor to, um, you know, kind of be able to fall in her footsteps because my whole life she, I watched her reach out to the families um, of fallen law enforcement officers and so to be able to learn from her and to do that as well. Um, and then for her to be here this year helping and, and speaking to the students is, is really exciting and I think she has so much valuable information to share with them and a lot of wisdom and, and I'm just continuing to learn from her every day and learn from the way she loves other people. This year, Catherine had some struggles early on when her grandmother passed away over Thanksgiving break. But thanks to her amazing team, coach, and the Liberty University Student Government Association, the event was able to be planned out and happen on its set date. If anything, I've just seen all different departments, the Shepherd Office, the Criminal Justice Club, all step up kind of as the body of Christ and help with every little detail of the event, help treat our guests and make them feel very special. And so um, it's meant a lot to me. And I, I mean, without the organizations outside and inside and departments who have donated and put in the time and energy to making this event successful, I, it wouldn't happen at all. And so it, um, it means so much to me. I'm super proud of Kat and just uh, this great event that she's organized and she takes a lot of pride in it and um, I know our team is really eager to help her with it just because it is such a great uh, event. This year, Catherine is a senior and will be graduating in May. For now, she is unsure what her plans are, but Catherine, her coach, and her mom want to see this amazing event flourish every year at Liberty University. I'm not sure what it looks like moving forward. I definitely don't think it's something that's going to die just because she graduates. I definitely think there is a lot of people who uh, know of the event on campus and would be really happy to keep it going. And if that's our team, like I know I'd be very happy to, to continue supporting um, it with our team. It would be great to see this be an annual event for the school and then let the school sort of take ownership of this. Um, I think that's what Catherine would like. And, um, you know, it, as long as she's in the area, I know she'll want to help continue to keep this be an annual, uh, to make this an annual event. I've experienced the grief that comes from losing a law enforcement officer firsthand, just growing up with that grief and seeing the ways that my family has had to deal with that. And so the fact that students are willing to come and support families who are going through that same exact thing this year, um, it's really special and I think the whole, the whole law enforcement community is thankful. All the officers we have here um, speaking today are extremely thankful and um, just the fact that students see value in them is really special.